This is a story of a spider from my Kokani book titled Saimakadin Savvad. It's a historical book on science and nature for children. In this story, the hidden aspects of science are brought right out in the open. Do you know how? Through dialogue with a spider. It's super exciting. I am Rajeshri Bandodkar Karapurkar, magic author. Yours truly presenting my story, Tina and Tutu the Spider. Hey guys, this is Tina out in the bright sunlight to enjoy the nature. Just then, an intricate web of a spider caught her sharp eyes. It was absolutely enchanting. Tina stood there, overwhelmed by the magic in nature. Then she heard a low voice. Hey, whose voice is this? Hello, Tina. Good morning. Do you like my house? Look over here. It's me, Tutu the Spider. Oh, good morning, Tutu. I'm thrilled to see your beautifully and intricately woven web. It must be so very difficult and painful to construct such an intricate web, right? Oh, you like my web so much. Thanks, buddy. That's not just a web, Tina, my dear. That's my home. And to build one's own home, it's never a pain, right? I agree. But, I mean, you weave your own web, right? We, the humans, have architects, engineers, contractors and workers to help us build our houses. And you construct your home so intricately all by yourself. Amazing! Okay. Today, Tutu the Spider will share the secret with you. Don't share it with anyone else, Tina. How nice. Sure, I won't. There are two reasons for constructing such a web. Firstly, we need to fill our stomach. And secondly, a web like this saves our eggs. Hey, wait a second. How does your web help in filling your stomach? I am curious. We trap our food with our web. Web trap. How to do? Look, dear Tina. Small insects, whilst flying around, sometimes get trapped. Their wings or legs get entangled in a web and when they struggle to free themselves, it's even worse. The moment gives us the signal that food has arrived. Then, I waste no time here. It's a food, see? I rush to the spot and prick the insect with my poison. That's enough for them to die. <laughs> Why do you laugh so much? What pleasure do you get by killing those poor insects? Hey, but that's our food. And, and tell me, don't you kill animals to satisfy your taste buds? And Tina, have I harmed you any time? If at all I bite any humans, poison won't affect you all at all. I'm sorry, Tutu. I must say, 
we are selfish the entire human race works only for our self development tina it's okay any more questions yes i have a few do you eat insect directly many a time i have seen the hard cover hanging in the spider web sharp observations ha huh? well let me complete the story the poison that i put into their body converts their flesh into liquid this helps me to digest it quickly my tummy fills up what remains finally is just it's hard cover got it tina any more questions to two why are you hiding your eggs how do you protect them na i don't want to share the secret you're selfish you'll destroy my eggs i don't trust humans How intelligent the small creatures are